Alright, Shalom Israel. Back with another GMS on the go. This is the Raleigh, North Carolina camp. Before we go any further, we'd like to give all honor, glory, and praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakar Kodash. Next up, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth according to the Bible. And a double shalom to all the sincere Akim throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in righteousness and sincerity to the best of your ability. And me and the brother Isaiah was able to get up today, and we're going to get into a lesson on only salvation is only for the nation of Israel. So without further ado, we're going to dive right into it. This is um, St. Matthew's chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son. Right. It said, and she should bring forth the son. That she is talking about Mary. Mary is going to bring forth the son. But the son that she's going to bring forth isn't just any old body. We're going to read on and see who the son that she's going to bring forth. And she shall bring forth her son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai. Right, with the word, and they call it Jesus, who is the so called black man. That's who Mary brought forth, Yahweh Shai. For he shall save his people from their sins. Right. So Lord Yahweh Shah, who the word and he called Jesus, who's so called black man, he's gonna save his people from their sins. That word his is possessive. Lean you know it's not talking about the whole world. It's talking about the so called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans who are the real biblical Hebrew Israelites. That's who Yahweh Shah is gonna save from their sins. Now, you get you might you might have somebody be like, Well that didn't say a nation of Israel. So to prove that the nation of Israel is who Yahweh Shah is going to save from their sins, we're going to see what sin is real quick because it said he's going to save his people from their sins. So First John 3 and 4. Yeah, this is First John chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committeth sin. And that whosoever is talking about you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin... It's the transgression of the law. Right, so sin is transgressing the laws that's commands of the Bible. Sin is going against the laws that's commands of the Bible. You see? So if you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans, or eating shrimp, pork, crab, lobster, you're sinning. If you sleep with the next man's wife, vice versa, you're sinning. If you're indulging in sodomy, you're on man with man, woman with woman, you're sinning. If you're making baldness by your head and marring your beard up, you're sinning. All the stuff I'm naming is sin, and that's going against the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible. You see, because you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans were given the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible. And we're going to prove that getting our first precept in um, Leviticus 26 and 46. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 26, verse 46. And it reads, mm -hmm. These are the statutes and judgments and laws which the Lord made between him and the children of Israel in Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses. Right, so it said these are the statutes, judgments, and laws which was made between Yahweh and the nation of Israel. It didn't say these are the laws, statutes, and judgments which were made between Yahweh and the so-called duty in the Africans, or the so-called Chinese, or the so-called Japanese, or the so-called Muslim Arabs, or the so-called Dahiz Indians, or the so-called white men. It said these are the statutes, judgments, and laws which were made between Yahweh and the nation of Israel. And Israel, once again, consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans who are the real biblical Hebrew Israelites. You see? This is Psalm chapter 147 and 19. Mm -hmm. He showed his word unto Jacob. Right, this King James Bible, the 1611. He showed his word. Yahweh and the showed his word unto Jacob. Jacob represents you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans. You see, because um, Jacob's name was changed to Israel after he wrestled the angel. He greeted by that in Genesis. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Right, his statutes and his judgment, the law, statutes, commandments of this Bible, this King James Bible, the 1611. It was shown unto Israel, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans. He have not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Right, he ain't dealt with any other nation. Anybody outside you, so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans, Yahweh Bashim is not dealing with them. He said, as for his judgment, they have not known them. Right, the other nations haven't known Yahweh Bashim Hashanah's judgment because they won't give him his laws, that's commandments of the Bible to know him. You see? So, you know, St. Matthew's um, 121 said what? 
then Yahweh is going to save his people from their sins, and we just proved what sin was. Sin is transgressing the laws that's commands of the Bible, and we just proved that the nation of Israel is the only one who got the laws that's commands of the Bible. So that's who Yahweh Bashim is going to save from their sins, the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. I got something. This is Acts chapter 5, verse 29. Mm -hmm. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey the Most High rather than men. Right, so then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey Yahweh Bashim rather than men. And that's what we do. We obey the Most High rather than men. You see? Why? Because Yahweh Bashim is true. You see? So we're going to listen to this word. We're not going to listen to a man say, because just roughly paraphrasing, it tells you on, um, what is it, Isaiah 8 and 20, 8 and 20 to the law and to the testimony of this King James Bible, if they speak not according to this word, there is no 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 light in them, meaning no truth in them. So if man's not coming, that says the Lord, that says the Holy Bible, we're not going to listen to him. So we're going to let Yahweh Bashimah be true and every man a liar. The God of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Yahweh raised up Yahweh Shai, with the word he calls Jesus, so called black man. Whom ye slew and hung on a tree. Mm hmm. Him have the Most High exalted with his right hand mm -hmm. to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Right. So, Lord, Yahweh is going to be a prince and a savior and he's going to give repentance to who? To the nation of Israel. Once again, which consists of you so-called blacks, Latino, named Americans, who are the real biblical Hebrew Israelites. And, and, and it said he's going to give repentance to the nation of Israel. Um, and repent means to turn back sorrowfully. So the only people who can repent, turn back sorrowfully from their sins, from transgressing law, statutes, commandments of the Bible, so that they can be saved, is the nation of Israel. Showing you that salvation is only for the nation of Israel. Mm, I got another one. Okay. This is Romans 10 and 1. Brethren, my heart's desire mm -hmm. and prayer to the Most High for Israel is that they might be saved. That him might be saved. That for Israel is that they might be saved. Sure, they say Ammon or Moab. For Israel is that they might be saved. Esau. For Israel is that they might be saved. Right, so Israel, you so called Negroes, Latino, and Americans, is that they might be saved. You so called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans. Once again, who are the real biblical Hebrew Israelites, showing you that salvation is only for you, none else. Because we just read in Psalm what, 147 and 19, it said he ain't dealt so any nation. So if he ain't dealt any other nation, how can salvation be for these other nations? Mm hmm. This is Isaiah chapter. Give me a minute. You good? This is, um. I almost confuses me. Isaiah chapter 45 and 17, and it reads mm -hmm. But Israel shall be saved. In the Lord. Right. It said, but Israel should be saved in the Lord. You so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. It said, you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans are going to be saved in Yahabashi Masha. But you're not going to just get saved in Yahabashi Masha with any old salvation. We're going to read on and see what kind of salvation that you're going to get. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. That's the salvation you so-called Negroes, Latinos can get. You're going to get an everlasting salvation, meaning forever and ever and ever and ever. Your salvation is never going to end. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans, who are the real biblical Hebrew Israelites. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded worlds without end. Right, because once we get in rulership, you know, once we empower next, we're not going to be ashamed or confounded about anything. We're going to be that world that's never going to end. And why are we going to be that world that's never going to end? Because we're going to have that everlasting salvation. You see? So salvation is only for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It ain't for Esau, the so-called um, white man. It ain't for um, Elon, the so-called Dahe's Indians. It ain't for Moab and Am, the so-called Chinese and Japanese. It ain't for the so-called duty and Africans, you know, Ham. It ain't for um, the musty Arabs, um, the so-called musty Arabs, Ishmael. It's only for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. I got a pretty soon. Mm -hmm. This is Romans 11, 26. And so all Israel mm -hmm. shall be saved. Right. It says so all Israel shall be saved. It mm -hmm. didn't say all the other nations. It says so all Israel shall be saved. 
Mm-hmm. In the second mile of the kingdom of heaven. God. Man, that's plain. As it is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer. Right, and we already know who the, the, the deliverer is going to come out of Zion. That's the Lord Yahweh Shah. What the world calls Jesus, so called black man. Mm hmm. And turn away, that's what his name means. He saves, he mm -hmm. delivers, yep. you know? That's right, brother. There shall come out of Zion the deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Mm -hmm. For this is my covenant unto them, when I shall take away their sins. You know? There it is, plain, you know? What's this one? Which one? Uh. Oh, um, I'm sorry. That was put the Acts 2 and 21. I'm okay, sorry. God. But yeah, man, you know, salvation is only for the nation of Israel, man. That that I mean, All you got to do is just open up your Bible and read it. All you're going to see is Israel, Israel, Israel. That's all you see. Salvation is only for Israel. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just that. This is Acts 2 and 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Right. It said, and it shall come to pass that whosoever... And a lot of people will stop right there and be like, well, you see, that say whosoever. That's talking about any and everybody. That ain't talking about any and everybody. That whosoever is talking about the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans. Because you, when you read on, it said that whosoever shall call on the name of Yahweh Shemashah shall be saved. And it said, what, ye men of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans. It ain't talking about everybody. Only the nation of Israel. Yeah, it says, um, whosoever commits sin transgresses also the law, you know? Mm-hmm. I was talking about the nation of Israel too. That's right. Yeah. But I'm reading again. This Acts 2 and 21, it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Yahweh shall have Nazareth, a man approved of the Most High among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which the Most High did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourself also know. Mm-hmm. So you still call Negroes Latino and the Americans. And that's his plan. Mm hmm Whosoever, calling his name, should be saved. Ye men of Israel. But Israel should be saved. Yep. You see? That's all I got. Well, that's all you got? Yeah, that's everything. With that, I hope you brothers been edified. This has been another GMS on the go. This is the Raleigh, North Carolina camp. Before we go any further... We'd like to give all honor, glory, and praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekar Kodash. Next up, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth according to the Bible and a double shalom to all the sincere occupants throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and righteousness and sincerity to the best of your ability. So just remember, only Israel can be saved. Only Israel. So with that, shalom. Shalom.